in America, we don't worship government, we worship God. After that statement, almost everyone is to their feet and appreciate the president's speech. It seems like they like what he said. So for the full video and the testimony of our president, come and see and watch here at It Is Time. President Trump encourages the U.S. citizens to pray and practice their religious belief in their schools and workplaces. And we know that families and churches, not government officials, know best how to create a strong and loving community. He put emphasis with the church and with the family to build a and strong And above all community. else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government, we worship God. We see how people passively responded because they've been looking for a leader that would allow them to go back from where the America got started and have been blessed upon them. That is with God. Our religious liberty is enshrined in the very first amendment in the Bill of Rights. The American founders invoked our creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. I remind you that we're going to start saying Merry Christmas again. I also want to speak to all of the people in our faith community who are here with us tonight, veterans and non-veterans alike. You're never going to be forgotten. You'll never be forgotten. My administration will always support and defend your religious liberty. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square, driven out of our schools, or pushed out of our civic life. We want to see prayers before football games if they want to give prayers. And here we see how Trump emphasized to give importance with prayer, even in sports with football. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. We will not allow the government to censor sermons, to restrict the free speech of our pastors and our preachers and the people that we most respect. That is a great thing out there. Like Robert. He allowed pastors and preachers to still preach the gospel and the word of Jesus Christ. That is why, just as I promised Pastor Jeffress and other faith leaders, I just signed an executive order following, and this is something that makes me very happy and very proud, following through on my campaign pledge to stop the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. As long as I am president, no one is going to stop you from practicing your faith or from preaching what is in your heart. We want to hear him. 
For more videos and Jesus-centered posts, please like and follow It Is Time.